Hallelujah. Can you open this? It's easy enough. There you go. What up all, Darby here from Mindless Productions, continuing Bioshock Infinite 1999 mode without using vending machines and collecting all the infusions. All right, so this is your big boss for the uh, Finkton area. Now that you have the Undertow Vigor, life gets a little bit easier. So right off the bat, as you saw, hop onto the airship that flies at you and just start blasting people off with the Undertow. It is just, it is a miracle vigor. <laughs> then uh, once you take care of that one, head to this back end of the place, I guess, and go ahead and spawn out the Tesla coil here on my left side now. A lot more guys are gonna come dropping in from that gunship floating around. So just kinda sit here and hang out by the Tesla coil. These dumbasses will run at it and keep getting zapped. Um, another good strategy, if, if there's someone who refuses to come at you, is um, grab them with the undertow and pull them towards you, because it covers them in water, and then when the Tesla coil hits them, it does a lot of extra damage. So if there's someone way off in the distance who just refuses to come at you, you can go ahead and do that. Like that guy, I should have done it to him, but I don't know why I didn't think to. But I thought of it now, and that's what counts. Kind of. I wish it did. So you'll have a few waves of these just normal guys hanging out. Um, this part's really the easiest. The hard part comes in here in just a minute when a handyman decides to jump in at you. Yeah, that gets fun. Remember, uh, Shock Jockey does not work very well on the handyman. It'll stop him for maybe a second, but for the most part it doesn't do much of anything to him. So as soon as he shows up, go ahead and swap over to your uh, Murder of Crows and the Devil's Kiss. Which is a great little combo for him. So yeah, um... I don't... Hmm. It shouldn't be too much longer. There he is, Handyman! Okay. So, when he comes out, that's when you need to start moving around. It looks kind of funny with all the, the Vox on him. So, yeah, I zapped him. It didn't really do anything. If you need to get away from him, you can always hop up onto this upper level. It'll, it only helps you out for maybe a second. But, um, it, that second, is it's a little bit of breathing room. There'll also be a couple guys up on this upper platform. So if you want, you can kind of, you can take them out. Um, using the undertow is really helpful. Just gives you a chance to hang out up there, take a break from the handyman for a second. Um, the big goal is just to keep moving. There's a couple health kits, a couple bits of salt around. So don't be afraid to start looting corpses when you need to. And like I said, just kind of keep moving around the handyman takes a lot of damage just on his own i don't know how exactly but he just he seems to take damage on his own sometimes um don't even bother using the undertow on him i know i tried a couple times i don't know why i think it was just my ignorance in the heat of heat of the battle but yeah don't even worry about it because it doesn't do anything Um, another fun little strategy I like to use is riding around on the zip line. Wait until you hear the handyman shout, you know, he'll say something like, get off, or come down here, or something like that. Um, then you can hop off of it. That means he's jumped on, and he's gonna electrify the whole zip line. So, hop off as soon as you hear that, and it'll pause him for a second. If he's in your line of sight, you can start picking at him, get a couple free shots in. <laughs> Dumbass fell. That was kind of awesome. Alright, so anyway. Like I said, switch to your Murderer Crows. Much easier. And just have at it. He's actually a lot easier than the 
first handyman you fought? Or it seems like he's a lot easier. Just keep an eye on your health. If you need to run away, let your shields kind of come back up. Don't be afraid to do so. Just don't spend too much time on the zip lines. Um, so you don't get electrocuted. Other than that, it's uh, fairly straightforward here. You can kind of tell what's happening. So I'll leave y'all to enjoy it. And that's pretty much it for this this little chapter of the game. Next time we'll be in a whole new area, so that's exciting. So I'll see you on the next video. Just what the doctor ordered.